Howdy folks, welcome to episode 25. Today there is a big update. I'm just making some lights here too because I wanted to put some up here. So this is where we left off in episode 24 and I think we're going to put another light up here somewhere. And I think this is a good place for it and we'll see if we can get this to be nice and bright. But yeah, there's a big update and let me get... Yeah, that looks a lot better. So if you notice up here, we've gone, whoops, we've gone up in the upper left corner, um, up there, <laughs> up there. Yeah, 1142. So yeah, we've gone, I think it was 1120 was the last version we were on. So yeah, it's quite an update. And so I've got these and I'm gonna put the concrete blocks in with concrete blocks. And I do need to, Let's see, I've got steel blocks here. I need to put these tomato sprouts away too. And I will show you guys some of the updates that were done. And so the first one is if you look in here in the tech tree, and you will want to do that because otherwise you're not gonna find them in your constructor. They did t tier two laser drills. And so I'm gonna unlock that. And those are for the hovercraft, obviously. And so we're gonna go make some of those. So yeah, if you're looking in your constructor and you're going, where are they? <laughs> That's where. And I think they are in here, yeah. So we're gonna make, let's see, does it say six? Yeah, maximum amount six. And so they take power coils and advanced CPUs. So they're not something you're gonna, wow, I only have three. Oh, I've got a ton of the other stuff left though, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they've they've got those and then something else I wanted to do while that was crafting is I wanted to do this as uh, I think Valkyrie mentioned you can do this and you can activate this mission and you can do this <laughs> ta-da and I now have <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's just funny. I thought I would at least have to go to like a, a crate and pull one out of it or something like that. But um, yeah, that's fine too. And let me do this. While I have this gold, I should make some coins for that too while I'm thinking about it. And here, we'll do that. But yeah, let's get these crafted and we can put these on the hovercraft in a minute. And the other thing I wanted to do was, let's see, let me throw that... And yeah, I have my money in here. Okay. And I need to grab that too and put my Pentaxid in here. So another thing I did is I went into the difficulties and I changed the ore amounts because I wanted the ore to be scarce on my starting planet. But now that, you know, I'm out into the galaxy and stuff, um, I want to be able to build a huge base in space. And so I need a ton of iron to do that. And so what I did was I went and changed the options back so that, because, I mean, it's not like, you know, making them, making that stuff really scarce is going to make a huge difference as far as the difficulty of the game. It's just going to mean that we can't build big, cool stuff and, and we only have to build small stuff instead. So, yeah, the plan is I'm going to build a huge base. But anyway, one of the other things they did, let's see, do I have any doors in here, is they changed the armored doors and I guess I'll have to make one of those too so let's find the and I love how these are arranged but here are the armored doors so they change these and you now have the option of of different all of these so yeah you can do the the glass doors and all that in all the different shapes so you're not restricted to just this one type and I'll throw that in here because I'm sure I'll use that later and we can throw that and another thing they did was they changed the growing plots and so there are no there are no longer plastic growing plots anymore they are now steel and I'm curious as to if these are still considered plastic or what let's see I guess I didn't need to come all the way up here for that I could have just done it from downstairs, but yeah, okay, they did change them back to steel. And so, basically all the plastic that I'm going to be growing, I'm not going to need. And, and one of the other cool things is if you hit N and you show airtight blocks, they change this display now too. So as you see, the airtight blocks, that is actually really cool. It would be nice if these went invisible too, if they were just like either transparent or semi-transparent or something. 
because right now if you had a solid block like this you still can't see like yeah if you're standing here or whatever you can't see that the bathroom is not you know it doesn't have a giant hole behind it but I love the idea and they've they've got the right idea on this which is really cool and I love that it shows that even when the door is open and closed and stuff and so yeah so you, this should make it easier to find your leaks and why is that what is that oh that's the stairs okay yeah see the stairs are not airtight and so they jump right out at you don't they which is pretty cool and let's see in here it should show yep so it shows everything that is or isn't airtight here which is awesome and I can even put I can upgrade these doors to the armored doors if I want to now and have the see-through oh you know what you still can't do the see-through because as I saw on here yeah the the thing showed let me show you this and it's one of my other gripes is these are not airtight these transparent the see-through ones it's like why <laughs> why are they not airtight it's a force field I want it to be airtight but I mean it would be nice if it just you just had a checkbox for whether or not it was airtight and you could use any style but maybe they'll change that later but anyway they um, they did a few other changes and let me see here let's get going while we're doing this and I need to actually do this right there we go okay and we're going to go on the map and set, we're going to go to Zehines. So we're going to go to the next planet and probably do some pillaging there or whatever before we move on. Because I want to check out each planet. And we'll do this. And here we go. Any day. There we are. Wow, there's a freighter right there. I should probably stay away from that. Uh, I should probably stay away from that. <laughs> do not want to uh yeah do not want to run into that right now not with this not with this ship but uh yeah some of the other stuff they changed they changed the hit points of the sentry guns and so i'll have to see how many shots they take now whoops and there's some space drones too and let's see the turret access let me see now it used to be when you clicked on these turrets yeah, it used to be that that screen stayed up there, you know, and and you had to, you had to, you had to erase, you had to act, escape out of the screen, and so they fixed that, which is awesome, and that one just popped in. Is that a resource asteroid? But uh, let me see what else is on my list here. All of the play fields are now PvP in single player by default, and so I will have to see. I assume that all the ones that generated. So I will probably change Akua manually. I normally do that. Yeah, it looks like a resource asteroid. Nice. Okay. And so, yeah, they're all PvP, which, you know, I've been griping about that, and I used to manually change it all from all of my games anyway. And, you know, I guess some people don't care or whatever, but it's it was always kind of silly that you could just totally, like, ram your ship into the ground head first and everything, and, and it didn't even matter. But let's set a... Let's set a waypoint here and we'll do ND asteroid there we go and hopefully that's the right position for it cool all right and yeah good it's right there all right cool so we're gonna head off to Zehines and let's see I need to decide whether I want to bring CV with me because they probably have a patrol vessel here too and <laughs> probably don't want to run into that yet but I'll probably let's see because I want to I want to um, fly around and find all the deposits and so I need to decide whether because the problem is that this thing I guess if I'm gonna fly around and find all the deposits then I can use my ship to blow up any thing so let me see what I have, let me make some more, let me make some more missiles for this thing. And let's see, for our, there we go, 130 mil millimeter. We'll go like that, and we'll make some of these. And we can go over here. Because, yeah, what I think I can do is I can, when I find the patrol vessel with my small vessel, I can just go kill it at that point or neutralize it or whatever. Whoops. And I probably don't want to do that. 
And am I frozen? I'm fr there we go. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna come back out. Was that it right there? Oh no, that was my ship. Okay, that was my hovercraft. <laughs> so yeah, let me get up out of orbit here, and I assume we're gonna be near the north pole. But let's see. I think I only had to be 500 meters before, so we'll see. And we'll do this, and we'll go up to our ship. I should even put like a cockpit up here, just you know, back here somewhere for emergencies or whatever, but let's see if we can let's see what kind of ammo we have for this thing. Yeah, we only have 53 missiles and I need to get more oxygen. Do I need more oxygen? No, I've got a ton of oxygen and so what I need to do is let's do this. We're going to shut this off for a second and I'm going to grab some more of these things that hopefully have crafted now. Some missiles, there we go. And yeah, that should that should give us a few more. And then I can I can come back if I run out of ammo or whatever. Because I think I've got a ton of the other ones too. Yeah, I've got a ton of rail guns and stuff. So I should be able to do this. There we go. Okay. Apparently the space bar doesn't work while you're in the <laughs> in the thing. And I am right next to one of the poles, so it should be easy to find the ship. Let me see, where am I as far as the sun goes? Let's see, where is the sun? I, it's got to be here somewhere, right? Is it behind the ship? Yeah, okay, cool. So near the pole and right, right toward the sun. All right, so that should be easy enough to find. It should be easy enough to find when I come back out of order. But, but uh, yeah, we're going to go down here, and I'm not sure if I want to put more auto miners on anything. But if I do that, what I want to do is I want to find all the deposits on this. Let's see what we even have. We have, good, we have iron, and we have magnesium and promethium. So I want to probably, I'm probably going to get all of the iron on this planet, and I will probably also put an auto miner on each one if I can. And so we're going to fly around the whole planet. And let me see, I'm pretty sure I was near, I was pretty close to the North Pole. Let's find out. Well, I'm obviously not that close because there's a POI over here. And that looks like the missile silo over there. But let's head, let me see. Oh, nope, I was near the South Pole, wasn't I? Okay, so I'm gonna probably gonna fly around the North Pole first, yep. We're going to fly around the North Pole first and find any of the deposits that we can. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm going to put down the auto miners, and hopefully that'll help with the building and stuff with the resources I need to build. And hopefully I can get past this without getting shot up too bad. But, yeah, uh, there was some discussion about the auto miners in the... Nice. <laughs> in the... Just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. All right. But yeah, there was some discussion of the auto miners in the comments a few episodes ago, and I wanted to, you know, people had asked what I thought about them. And honestly, right now, I don't think they're overpowered, so I don't have a problem with using them. And let me see, we'll go to night vision here. And there's more. These look like civilian POIs, so I think I can stay down next to them. Yep. And that one also looks like a civilian. But yeah, I don't think they're overpowered, and honestly, I I don't like the way they're implemented either. I would prefer to have, there's one iron deposit, I would prefer to have the mining take place, the auto miners be like a base part that you build, and so you have to have a functioning base, and then you have some giant, you know, it's some huge block, like the warp core size type of thing or whatever, and it takes a ton of power, and so that you have to... It has to be sitting there, and, it, and it's subject to drone attacks and PV attacks, and you have to defend it, and that kind of thing, and keep it powered, and you know, and all that stuff. I think that would be a cool way to do the auto miners. And is this another? I think that's another civilian. I think that would be a really cool way to do. Huh? Transport hub. Okay. But yeah, I think yeah, that's one of the civilian things. I think that would be a really cool way to do the auto miners. I don't know if they're going to do it that way some at some point in the future or if they're just going to keep these little things, but wow. <laughs> was that the 
I think that was the drone making that noise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's what I would like to see with them. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if they're, that's what they're going to do, if they're just going to keep them as is, if this is just an interim solution kind of thing or what. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to fly around the planet here and I will zoom through all this stuff and I will let you guys know when I found all the deposits and stuff. Be back in a minute. Okay guys, we are back and there is the drone base <laughs> right over there and let's see if we can, it's not going to show me where it is, is it? It's not going to tell me. Okay, so I need to put a waypoint here, drone base, <laughs> and apparently I'm hungry. So let's do this, whoops, accept, and yep, we're hungry, so let's do this. <laughs> and that okay and let's see if let's see what we have as far as oxygen here let's make sure our ship is okay on fuel and oxygen all right so we've got i found all nine i found three of the promethium i've found all but one of the magnesium i'm sure it's in one of these wide open spaces over here but I mean I've been around far enough to see where everything is and I don't see a patrol vessel so I'm going to assume there isn't one and I'm going to bring the <laughs> I'm gonna bring the capital vessel down I think and try to yeah and try to mine out a bunch of the iron and we're gonna try out the new we're going to try out the new drills. So let's see, we were near the South Pole. I think we were near the South Pole in space. And let me see, let me make sure. Yeah, I did get that one. Okay, the refinery. And <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to go up and get the ship. And we'll see if we can bring it down and we can mine some of this iron. And we'll check out how well that thing works. And let me see, before I leave here, let me see how big these... Yeah, these are awesome. These are huge, 5,500, 2,500. And see, the thing is, is that since these use like 10 iron per block, or uses what? <clears throat> it uses uh, 10 metal plates or whatever, so it's one ingot. I mean, it's not a lot of... <laughs> it's not a lot of blocks. So maybe stripping this whole planet will give us enough that we can build a cool space base and then the next mission nice I did a pretty good job of of getting close to that and then the next mission after that is after we finish this off I think I'm gonna do most of that mining in a half episode uh, an in-between bonus episode kind of thing because it's not really that exciting to watch and I don't want to try to talk through the whole thing but yeah what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna go to Akua I don't know I'll probably look around at some more planets but I want to I want to build like where two asteroids are close to each other because I want to build a base that actually like kind of connects the two asteroids I think that would be fun and so I think the best shot at that is going to be Akua where there's a pretty dense ring of them I don't know maybe maybe Omicron will also work but let's get this parked okay all right so yeah maybe Omicron will also work and it looks like these are actually growing now yeah, it looks like they're growing. Cool. So I apparently they're not staying. I don't know if maybe they. It's because I'm in similar 
place or what or, or if those didn't actually grow while I was gone if they grew while I was flying here or what but let's see let's go down and for those of you who haven't seen the prior episode where I did this because I know some people might just be watching this for the update stuff and <laughs> don't know what's up with my CV that I can just jump in and start flying and everything the engines are actually on a switch setting that if you see the the lights above me the green the cyan light at the very top of the screen there's a couple of sensors up there and let me make sure I'm not gonna land on a POI or anything let's find a yeah here's an iron deposit right here cool that's perfect okay so we're gonna come down but yeah they are on <laughs> they're on sensors so that they automatically shut off and turn on when I'm I think that guy's probably pro right over the iron deposit. You know, he must be over the promethium deposit. But yeah, they turn on and off when I'm when I get into and out of the cockpit automatically. I use the sensor systems. So there's a couple episodes ago that I showed how I did that, and so you can find that in the description if you want to, if you wanted to watch that and find out how I did that. But let's see. I think that guy's probably going to try to come over this way. Let's see. Yeah, the drone base is over there. All right. Let's do this. So now you can hear the engines are on. You can hear the thrusters are on. And so when I get out of that, it turns them off. And so that blue light tells me when they're on. And so I can also turn them on like that. And the green light holds them on even when I'm not in the thing. <laughs> Let's see. See if he's... Yeah, I think I think they're shooting him down. Let me see. Let me double check. We'll do this. We'll go into one of the miniguns devices, minigun turrets. See if we can get one of these guys. Oh, I guess I need to be in the cockpit. Okay, let's do this. And let's do this. <laughs> There's the one that shot him down. Cool. Okay, so it already did shoot him down. And how far away is that guy? No, he's not. He's not close enough. All right, so let's get out here, and we're going to. Let me see. I need my drills, and I need this thing, and I need to grab some blocks too, because I think I'm going to. Where are they? I know I had more than four of these. Where are all the rest of my blocks? I think they're in the small vessel. Let me double check. Make sure they're not in here. Okay. They must be either in the small vessel or in the the hovercraft cargo box. Let's see. Nope, they're not in here. So yeah, they're going to be in the the hovercraft. So we're going to go down there. We'll go down through the legs. And what is the temperature outside? 31? That's not too bad. Okay. All right. So we're going to be able to run out here and make sure we've got our jetpack on. All right. And we're going to take out these. There we go. And let's do this so we're on top of this thing. And we can do this. And oh, that's what I wanted to do too, is I wanted to see if... No, I don't have any of those, do I? Okay. Apparently I don't. Okay, I thought I had more blocks. I thought I had more of the small blocks. I guess I don't, and so we're just going to do it this way. We're going to do the drills this way, and let me see here if I can get them to sit on the cockpit or on this one. There we go. Okay, let's do one, two, and you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to at least spread them out a little bit. Or should I? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to take this thing. And we're going to go like this. We're going to spread these out a little bit. And so that way we've got a little bit more space between them. We'll make a little bit wider hole when we drill. And we'll do the same thing over here. There's one. And the perfect amount of blocks for that too, right? <laughs> and there we go. 
and we'll get that one on here and we even have the paint gun on us so we can paint these so let's get these all apply the whole block we can do this there we go just so it's not ugly while we're drilling and so yeah there's our new drills and let me make sure I've got oxygen in here yes and yes okay cool all right and so let's get going here let's see where is our iron deposit oh apparently my ship is negative 46 degrees nice because <laughs> that's not ridiculous right is it really gonna it's gonna take that long to heat up okay all right well I can <laughs> all right we can do this and I can at least get this look at that that is awesome okay let's do this and is it really there we go okay let it warm back up okay come on let my body temperature get back up here a little bit there we go okay so now it's yeah it should be fine now it should be within my tolerance but yeah check this out they've got that is really cool Look at how fast that goes, too. It just melts a hole right in front of them. Nice. I just got to be careful here of... Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I got to be careful about uh, not digging myself into a hole. But let's get leveled off. There we go. And now we can... That is really awesome. I love these new drills. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. We're just killing this deposit. And let me go back up here, because this is a big enough deposit that I want to do this. Let's see, is it going to move them? I think the range is deceptive. There we go. Okay. Because it said 12 meters, and that doesn't seem like it's 12 meters. Let me see. Let me see here. Let's do this. And it might be using the player's view. No, it's not. It's not the external camera being the problem either. Okay, that just does not seem like 12 meters to me, but whatever. <laughs> They're still super fast, and I like it. Way faster even than the, the CV drill turret. So yeah, I'm going to drill this out, and I will be back in just a minute. Oh, and you know what? Before I do this, before I destroy this node, I do want to put an auto miner on here. So let's do that. Let's get out here and come on get out thank you okay we're gonna do this and we're gonna go in the constructor advanced constructor and we're gonna get a I need those two and we're gonna get a an auto miner here we go and I should be able to make some more of those five six seven eight there we go we'll see if we can make nine of them I think we have enough pieces to make those so those use how many? Four power coils? Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to end up using up all of our power coils on that, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, our next stop is going to have to be one of the other, one of the other, let's see here. Let's see if we can place it there. Cool. All right. Yeah, our next stop is going to have to be one of the other planets that has the arrest room and the Zascosium, which I believe is Masperon and the volcano planet Iestus. So yeah, that thing will continue auto mining and even when you dig out the the deposit out from underneath it, it will still auto mine, which is nice because, you know, honestly, that's another thing I thought that would be nice about the auto miners is to have them instead of putting them on the regular deposits, you have different deposits that are like deep, you know, deep ground deposits that you have to find with a different type of sensor instead of just you know flying over nearby or whatever maybe you have to put a sensor on a ship and fly over it with that sensor activated in order to find it or something like that and then that's where you can put your auto miners but you know <laughs> I don't know we'll see we'll see how how far they decide to go with those but anyway uh, let me finish out this deposit and I'll be back in a minute
Alright, we are out and I finished off that entire deposit, which was, let's see, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, and almost seven stacks, almost 7,000 iron. That is awesome. And that only took a few minutes. I will show you on the thing. I'll look at the timer and, <laughs> and I'll show you how many minutes that actually took. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And the other thing I wanted to check here was I wanted to see if these things are going to use, are going to be like the other thing where they use a ton of power. Let's see. We are using 688 kilowatts and I'm pretty sure that these things are using that. So let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's do this. And my my turrets were going off. Let's see. My my uh whoops, my sentry turrets were going off while I was drilling. So I assume, why am I sliding off the cockpit? So I assume that the wildlife is now out. Let's see. Let's see what what we have now. It should say 588. Yeah. Okay. They are using they are using power. So that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is we're going to end 25 here and I'm going to end up doing a bonus episode where I'm going to go around the planet and get all the rest of these deposits with the hovercraft. So that's going to be it for episode 25. Join me in episode 26 where we are going to go to the next planet. Let's see what it is. Let's see what we've opened up. Oscutune and Alien Outpost. Hey, the Alien Outpost, I think, is where the... And there's Masperon and Hiatus. Okay, yeah, so I think we're going to go this way because this is where the the Pentaxid asteroid is and this is where our power coils... I th think there's stuff for power coils here. If not, it's here. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head this way around and then we can go... I don't know, we might have to go here and then come back there. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to head this way next episode. So join me in 26 for some Alien Outpost hijinks, and we'll see you then. Later.